What's up people my name is Dinesh and today we are watching the 8th episode of Hoops it's called Death Is somebody going to die in this please don't take away any of my favorite characters I get attached to the characters it doesn't matter if they're cartoon or they're real person it, like it's it's a TV show or it, even it's a movie when somebody dies which I'm attached to now because I've seen him you can say like kind of like grow over the episodes let's tell like that's one of the main reason why i never watch game of thrones and probably never will because i know a lot of characters die in that and yeah i don't think i can handle all that shit so today let's see what eighth episode of hoops is about and if you're not subscribed hit subscribe let's jump into this court okay there is somebody who already died thank you i'm not attached to that guy that's what i mean your and coach at lenwood has died but trust me boys he was a huge asshole Took like you coach? I guess I am revered, sure. And so we have brought in a grief counselor to help students get through this tragedy. We never had that in our school. Goes high, there's a fat boy running around here <laughs> like a dang thing. What cuz right? If you could afford a lawyer, I might have stayed with you. I don't know if you not signing these is some warped way of telling yourself we'll get back Look together, at the kids. but it's not going to happen. A man has died, Shannon. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Show some respect, please. Oh, there's my delivery guy. Hey, buddy, are you my chicken fingers? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Big shot, if you're up there, show me some. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken finger! Somebody grab that bag! Well, the Lord showed you, Opal, <laughs> by killing a delivery guy. He got cremated right in front of everybody. Good dude. Oh, fucking hell, man. Poor guy just wanted to deliver the food. He was doing his job. But Opal had wanted a proof of God. Now she got one. By killing a person. That was dark, yo. That was really dark. I'd like to reintroduce the grief counselor, Dr. Brooks. Who will Did you guys had grief counselor when you were in school like this? Like, is is this a thing, or just in like they're showing this in just a TV show? Because in our school, if somebody would have died, they were like before the school starts, the prayer happens. So in, in prayer, you would like stand in a row. Everybody would stand in the row of the, or their own class, and they would pray together, and then we would go to class. And after the prayer end the teacher would be like this and this person had died so we will do a like 2 minute silence so everybody will just like shut their eyes and just don't talk for like 2 minutes then yeah then everybody just move on with their life nobody ever talked about it there was never a grief counselor Mr Singleton's passing but also the graphic <laughs> death of Kyle G Coach Okay yeah that for that you do need a therapist for risk <laughs> burned alive Yes Woo! it's a twofer You know what they say when it rains well actually rain would have <laughs> so awful but i have to admit it was the best smelling tragedy i've ever seen well coach hopkins kyle g was your delivery driver doesn't mean his death was your fault yeah no doubt it's his fault for being a guy with a ponytail oh Well, if it's not that, what brings you in today? Is it Mr. Singleton? Doctor, I need to talk to someone about my wife. She's a fucking lunatic. Hey, he got a free therapist. I can talk about that dead prick Singleton. You see, he was my high school basketball coach. Ah, oh, look at that. I just posted the names of the guys who made the team on the locker room wall. Oh, wow. Barry Hopkins kid didn't even make it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh shit, a bone cigarette go through. Oh my god, she look wow, okay. Your face <laughs> got in the way of my angsty joint flick. Well, watch me <laughs> throw it. Hey, it's still lit. <laughs> oh, it's a joint. Oh, wonderful. Better than a cigarette. <laughs> oh yeah. I suddenly feel like listening to some god awful horrible shit like blues travel. <laughs> I'm sorry. Man, I wish I could have heard what you said to that asshole who didn't put you on the team. What do you mean? I, I didn't say anything though. Really? You should have let him have it. <laughs> Thank the mall. Quit yapping so loud. We're very sorry for the inconvenience, sir. We should get out of here. We're being rude. No way. Fuck that, dude. Yeah. Don't come out here shouting at us, you old wrinkled dick bitch. <laughs> Go inside before I mace you and tell the cops you offered me 5 bucks to see my tits, grandpa. All right. Hey, I'm Shannon by the way. 
Ben. And you're and you're a knucklehead. <laughs> and you're and you're a piece of poo. Is that what you all you got? No, really, give it to him. Yeah, give it to him. Real motherfucker. Okay. What did you just call me, Ben? You're a real motherfucker. <laughs> you might as well stay at home and fuck your mother, because you're probably way better at mom fucking than you are at coaching. My mother Damn. just passed away, Ben. That's oh. no excuse for what that asshole did to you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. So not only do you fuck your mom, but now you're admitting to doing it while she's dead. And that's fucking disgusting. You're right, Shannon. I feel alive. Unlike oh, Shannon brought out the... Mama. Hold up! So, Ben was... So, like, Ben was a very guarded person before, huh? And Shannon bought this filthy Ben out of him. And you know what happened the next day? You apologized to the coach for what you said about his dead mother? No, what? you no. got married? Shannon jade me off in the oh. photo lab, and I knew we were meant to be. Thank you, doctor. And a little something for your troubles. A dollar? Oh. I remember how fast I had to grow up. Wait, Wait. what? Is this about the tragedies? What? Iraq? What the fuck? The new guy doesn't want to live too long. Wait, huh? that's the one? I'm sorry. I swear I didn't mean to. Shit! We got company! Looks like I have to go old school. What are you? Are you bluffing? What are you doing? It doesn't sound like a rod at all. I mean, the previous flashback of Ben, Ben doesn't sound like Ben. Shannon made Ben what Ben is today. Can't touch this. <laughs> What about him? Who changed him? Oh, a oh, fucking. <laughs> Grab his gun! <laughs> and that's how I stay so calm now. Well, any hoozle, if there's anything you need, don't be afraid to holler. <laughs> Oop, that's lunch. It's macaroni day. Okay, now I remember him talking about one time in one episode, he talked about how you could kill a family. Well, he could kill a family. And she thinks we should still be together. She thinks we're soulmates. Her words, not mine. We got a real cat and mouse thing, you and me. Ugh. And delivery guy. Are you that dumb Dr. Phil wannabe who's putting all these dumb ideas in Ben's dumb head? I'm sorry, but you cannot just storm in here <laughs> while I'm in the middle of talking to this student about Billy Joel, for some reason. I thought this was confidential. You need to hear my side. <laughs> Wait, what? No, please don't want to. Oh, me. there's a flashback. Hell yeah. I'm going to run out and grab some milk. Didn't you just get a gallon? Uh, I, I don't think I did. Oh. Oh. I stole a toilet out of this bitch once. <laughs> some noise, folks, for Shannon. Yeehaw, Hopkins. <laughs> Excuse me. That name is Yeehaw? That's so cool. Giddy up, bitch. Yeehaw. There you go, Shannon. 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 Whoa. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Damn, Shannon. You're not wearing underwear. I'm hairless and careless. <laughs> Point 97. Oh, damn. She's hairless and careless, huh? The damage I'd done to the farm, and that's when I realized I needed to turn my life around, and I knew I couldn't do that with him. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> I love Coach, but he's a bottomless pit of anger and resentments. So and Ron, the guy I'm dating now, is the best. Nah. He's sweet, passive, and doesn't have a single skeleton in his closet. Oh, she knows. A divorce to reinitiate. Having these horrible... Waking nightmare. Hello. Excuse me, can you please let the little boy with the annoying voice in? <laughs> it's, it's not annoying. It's a genetic abnormality that happens to most of the men in my family. I don't family. feel like he's going to surgery, but we can't afford Shut it. the door. Okay, he did. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm a state licensed therapist. So everybody's just using free therapy. Okay, Here's free the therapy I for everybody. I on these papers saying that Felix here is an emotional support dog. No, so no, no. Everybody's no, 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 just no, no, talking about their past stories. Okay, this episode is just about past stories. Oh, damn. Oh, hey, Barry. How you doing? Tip. Game last night. Now it's a... Look at him walking. Mm -hmm. Something to start the party, Barry. <sighs> oh, hell yeah. That's good booger sugar. Hey, Barry. Uh... Watkins, you'd be a pretty good player if you could make a fucking free throw. You'll never uh... guess what happened next. Let's just say it was genital penetration. 
Oh my god. The details are overwhelming and not at all appropriate. You sure? Because we did it in like five more positions, one of which was the butt. Oh, yuck. My butt. Oh! Girl from that night, approximately nine months ago. And now she's pregnant. Holy shit, Diana married Charles? Ah. Holy shit, <laughs> there's a baby in that paper. It's yours. So you raised that little boy all by yourself? I did, all by myself. Really? What about the mother? And our three live-in, round-the-clock nannies. It's, if I sign the papers, it's officially over between mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And I'm still in love with you, Aww. okay? I just wanted to check in with you and make sure everything was going okay. Can we have Opal backstory, please? That would be awesome. It's because these adults seem more like kids than the kids do. It's like they can't handle their own problems. Mm -hmm. Opal, please come up with a story. Can handle their problems? That sounds just like Chelsea. Yes, I'm it's sorry. coming. It's coming. Oh, don't get me started on that. Please get started, Opal. Well, <laughs> it was a crazy time. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Yes. Please, no. Tell you got a buckle that belt, slide that flap deep inside. Oh, oh. Before we take the airplane ride, you gotta turn off all your electric shit. <laughs> you can't use your phone for a little bit. Smoke in the bathroom, I whoop your ass. That goes for you to first class. Oh, she's good! Awesome! Oh, fuck. What? We're all gonna die. Everybody That's the pilot? On you. you better figure something out. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oops. I spilled my ginger ale. We can land the plane there. Where? In a river? Are you crazy? Everything will get wet. We have no choice. Wait, Opal gonna land? Opal! Since when do you know how to fly? I just want you to know that whatever happens. And why aren't there two pilots? Everybody safe. Damn out of the open. way, out of the way. I did it. I did it all by myself. Okay. Come on. You're welcome. Mm hmm Over here. Two-faced girl name having lion <laughs> pizza, <laughs> You were responsible for the miracle on the Hudson? Uh-huh. I don't think but I was telling worried the I tell people, so he blackballed me. And that forced me into the garbage life of education. What do you mean garbage life? Sure can ramble. Yeah, I don't know how she no. walked. <laughs> the image of a man getting burned alive. Nasty. Unburden yourselves, please. It's just one of those things we're never gonna forget. Like when that Red Bull dude jumped from space. <laughs> man, one second you're talking to your friends, the next a delivery dude turns into Ghost Rider right in front of your ass. Okay, the first thing I'm going to ask you boys to do... We're out of here. Later, Doc. We should go watch Ghost Rider. Wait, are what? you sure you guys are okay? We can talk longer. I think they're okay, That's they're cool. gonna watch we're Ghost Rider. this last period. What about what And the Ghost Rider 2 is just that shit. Was nothing. I just watched a guy circumcise himself online. I didn't even stop eating. Yeah, I'll just bury that stuff in the back of my brain like I do all that childhood trauma I got no one to talk to about. Oh my god, that's, that's just too relatable. Okay, look, if I'm being honest, your love story sort of reminds me of the story of how I met my husband. Well, is she gonna have her own story? Alrighty, I'm yeah, fine with it. That's I'm getting beautiful. getting fine on my own. Oh, goddamn. Then I saw him. Oh, damn. Boring. boring! Holy shit, was that story boring? It had nothing to do with me. I actually find it a little selfish that you're rambling on about yourself. A delivery man died. I agree, Shannon. Whatever. I'm out of here. Fine, no, just go, you, you just fucking can't quack. Leave. Some you help you are. What, you I mean... what do you mean when she started? Oh shit! Holy fuck! Oh no, what did I do? No, no, no! I was just trying to bring Ben his steak and she's quesarito, and now my life is over! What? I skipped lunch. You should stop ordering food, Ben. She died? She, she... Dr. Brooks wouldn't want us to grieve. She was just here a day, so that won't be too hard. She tried to help some of us, then died. Anyway... Ben, stop ordering food online! I seriously do need therapy though. <laughs> My home is what the fuck was this episode? This episode was just like death and past stories. But guys, really, if, if you can afford a therapist and you need one, please go see one. When we 
keep things to ourselves and it kind of like stays in within us and it builds up over time there will be a time when it's going to snap and that snap can hurt you or the hurt uh, hurt the people who are living around you so yeah i think if you cannot afford a therapy go talk to a real close friend of yours who understand you who knows you better and loves you for you who you are i know this episode was a little like it was supposed to be funny on and all but i just want to say that if you need help please seek help sometimes things can be hard and we can make decisions terrible decision in those times so yeah go talk to a friend let them know how you are doing ask them how they are doing yeah we can do that and if you guys want to share anything i'm here for you i'm here yeah sharing to a right person is good is good for you all righty that was this episode of hoops we're going to see ghost rider today <laughs> the guy just turned ghost rider in front of ben should stop ordering food from delivery guys he is the one who's who, who should be responsible for all the death that happened in this episode the three that all three are responsible on ben but I, yeah i loved opal's story opal back story was fucking crazy <laughs> she she saved a lot of people life how did she became the pilot how did she knew she's opal she can do anything well guys that was it hope you guys enjoyed it if you did like this video share and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys